primary benefits and advantages to the Bico RA dryer. You know, why why do you want to buy the Bico dryer over the other uh, dryers in the industry? Um, probably the most uh, important and uh, major difference between the Bico dryer and other dryers in the industry is what we call VFT, or Variable Flow Technology. Uh, this is accomplished by a unique patented valve that's built by Dan Foss for our dryer line. Um, this uh, hot gas bypass valve uh, basically is a self-adjusting hot gas bypass valve. Uh, standard uh, hot gas bypass valve in other dryer lines, you have to be uh, adjusted manually uh, with an Allen wrench or a set screw. And uh, that means that if not adjusted properly, the dryer can freeze up um, depending on the ambient or thermal load that hits the dryer. Uh, this variable flow technology means that this dryer will automatically adjust to any thermal load or ambient condition and not freeze up. That adds a lot of reliability to the dryer. Another nice feature is that it will allow the dryer to operate independent of the electronic control board. Maybe you have a power spike at your facility that will possibly fry the control board. This dryer will still function. You can literally remove the control board and the dryer will still work. It is this uh, mechanical valve system that actually operates and controls the function of the dryer. That way you have reliability and uh, a stable dew point of about 38 degrees. Um, give you a little bit of idea of how this uh, valve works is there's a lot of features uh, happening at one time. Okay. The main point of this valve is to prevent the formation of ice inside the evaporator. This valve, I'm sorry, this bulb filled with uh, nitrogen and that is uh, installed down into the hotter part or the cooler part of the evaporator. Uh, it's got a capillary tube which um, is on the top side of a diaphragm so that as the thermal load on the dryer varies, that gas will expand and contract, applying more and less pressure on top of the diaphragm, depending on the pressure on the suction side of the refrigeration cycle. On the bottom side of the diaphragm, there is a spring with a set tension from the factory. Um, the other uh, force that's at work is the suction pressure on the suction side of the uh, compressor. As the thermal load on the dryer is reduced, the, uh, the gas inside the bulb will condense, lowering the pressure on the top side, allowing the uh, spring pressure to overcome the bulb pressure, and that will allow the diaphragm to open and allow a uh, bypassing of the refrigerant. Uh, and what this does is that creates a fictitious load on the dryer that prevents it from freezing up. It automatically adjusts to any um, condition. Uh, say you have a application where your customer has installed a new variable speed compressor but still using their existing dryer. Um, if that dryer does not have a hot gas bypass valve like this and the dryer uh, flow rate suddenly drops to 20, 30 percent, um, you know, that, there is a risk that that dryer could freeze up. Uh, this hot gas bypass valve that's in the Beco Dry Point RA dryer line will automatically adjust to those applications, as well as applications where there's a change of season or a big change in the ambient condition to prevent that dryer from freezing up. So this is a very unique uh, technology that makes this dryer very reliable. Another nice feature or benefit on the Dry Point RA dryer is a vertical heat exchanger. You'll notice that this vertical heat exchanger brings in the air from the top and it flows straight down and turns and comes back out. Uh, this uh, promotes a laminar airflow, which uh, basically has a lower dew point or a lower pressure drop across the dryer. Uh, many type of uh, horizontal uh, plate exchangers, uh, there's a lot of turns and twists in the uh, dryer, uh, which leads to a higher pressure drop across the unit. Uh, this laminar flow with this vertical heat exchanger uh, really gives us a low pressure drop across the dryer. Uh, most of our dryers have below a 4 PSI pressure drop. 
I've only got one dryer, which is my 5,000 PSM dryer that has a 4.1 PSI pressure drop. Now, that's actually better than the industry average of about 4 to 6 PSI. Um, I'd actually love for all of you to sell a lot of the, you know, 5,000 PSM dryers, and then we can, you know, discuss the, uh, the higher pressure drop on this particular unit. But in reality, the sweet spot for most dryers is going to be, what, 100 to 500 CFM. Uh, most of our dryers in that, in that range have a pressure differential across the dryer of about 2 to 3 PSI. So it's a very efficient uh, system that um, minimizes your loss due to pressure drop. Uh, another nice feature of this uh, large vertical heat exchanger is it's very efficient in the transfer of thermal energy. Uh, that's what allows this um, dryer to handle 160 degree inlet temperature. Another benefit to that is in uh, an analysis of some of our competitors, uh, we've also seen that a lot of our compressors on the dryer are generally about 25, 30% smaller. Now having a smaller compressor on this dryer, that leads to additional energy savings. And that's gonna be very important as we'll discuss um, in a few minutes. Uh, another benefit to the dryer is a very simple control system. The DMC-14 is what's standard on all dryers with the 2000 CFM. Very reliable, easy to use, gives you a dew point readout, and it controls the alarm function. As we uh, mentioned earlier, you could literally remove that control and the dryer will still function very nice benefit that adds to reliability. On dryers over 2,000 CFM, uh, 2,500 CFM to 5,000 CFM, the units come standard with the DMC-20 control. Now, the DMC-20 controls give you a lot more uh, control and function. Uh, you have a lot of access to information like suction pressure, temperature of the refrigerant, um, a, lot of, uh, a lot of information that you can uh, work with. Again, it's a very easy system uh, to operate. A nice benefit for your service tech is that we have a maintenance-friendly construction. Uh, on most of the dryers, you do anywhere between four and six uh, screws, and that gives you complete access to remove all the panels. That gives you easy access to all the individual components. You have easy access to the, the fan switches, the compressors, uh, the fans, the drain, it's all very uh, easy to access. Uh, one thing I do want you to notice is uh, some of the components that you'll see is that we do have Schrader valves standard on all of our dryers. Even our 10 CFM dryer has Schrader valves and fan switches. Uh, there are a lot of companies out there that have removed such features uh, just to try to um, lower the cost on their dryers. But you'll notice that Vico has not done that. We maintain a high level of quality and standard features throughout the entire product offering. And the fact that we are Vico, we have to have the world's best drain on this dryer. Therefore, every uh, dryer comes standard with a Vico mat drain. Um, Vico mat drain is arguably the world's best drain. Um, adds to tremendous amount of reliability to the dryer. Um, I've talked with many service managers. The most common failure, anywhere from 50 to 70% on dryers in the field is a drain problem. Uh, timer drains and float drains are notorious for having reliability issues. Um, the Becomat drain has been uh, well known in the industry for absolute reliability. Another nice feature of the Becomat drain is the zero air loss. Um, a Many of the cost studies that we've done on timer drain show a minimum savings of $500 per year just from the drain. Now this is very important these days because there's a big push in the industry for cycling dryers. Um, all the dryers that I am showing to you today are non-cycling and the reason we uh, prefer the non-cycling dryer is simply due to cost. Uh, they're, they're cheaper than cycling dryers and they add greater reliability and the stable dew point. Now you will get an argument about energy savings, but the fact that we have a standard zero loss drain, that will be the great equalizer when it comes to talking about energy savings. It gives you a great argument to counter uh, the argument for cycling dryers. But 
but then don't forget the two other efficiencies we showed you earlier, uh, lower pressure drop across the unit, as well as a smaller compressor, really makes this a green dryer. A lot of energy savings, great reliability, and a lower cost. When you compare the price of our dryers, you'll find that we are very competitive with most dryer lines out there, and you have a lot of features and benefits that the other dryers don't offer that really make this a superior dryer. Another very important feature, especially here in the southeast, I believe most of you that are on this uh, webinar are probably from the southeast region. You know, we have a very long, hot, and humid season. You know, generally from May through October, uh, it's not unusual to have 90 degree temperatures and 90 plus uh, humidity. Um, that can cause havoc on a dryer trying to work reliably. Well, with our large heat exchangers, our dryers can handle the higher inlet temperatures and the higher ambient conditions. Um, every dryer over 125 CFM in the standard dryer line and all of the dryers in the high temp dryer line can handle 122 degree ambient conditions. The standard dryers can handle 160 degree inlet temperature and the high temperature dryers can handle 210 degrees inlet temperatures. So that gives you great performance under extreme conditions. Just another area where the Beco dryers uh, surpasses all 